Hello, my name is Jeremy. We're going to be doing some Unity 2D in Unity 5, and let's just get right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import some graphics. I have found some free graphics from Open Game Art called the Grotto Escape Pack. It's very nice. I like using them. So we're going to go into the graphics, and we're actually going to take out the tiles, and we're just going to drag it right in there. So now we have that in our Assets folder. We're going to go to our Tiles. We're going to change up our import settings. Multiple sprites. They're all 16 by 16 pixels to units. Don't want to generate mitmaps. Put it on point and true color. And all this is going to do is make it so the pixel art is readable and that we have multiple sprites at 16 by 16. Now we're going to slice it and we could do it automatically. I'm going to do it by grid. And I'm just going to do it 16 by 16. And for my pivot, I'm actually going to put it in the top left. Since these are tiles and not characters, I'm going to put it in the top left. So we're going to hit slice and we're going to hit apply. The next thing we need to do now is we need to see how our tiles line up. So we're going to go to our main camera, double click on it in our hierarchy, and we're going to drag our first tile in. And you can see our first tile lines up relatively nicely with the tiles in the background there. You can see as they come into picture. Normally, what you find on the internet and what you just find from tutorials is that if you get our, uh, our tool here by hitting T on the keyboard, it's the vertex snapping. So what you can do is you can hold down V on the keyboard and grab the vertex point and snap it. I find that it just doesn't work. Or is it with this tool? No, it's with this tool. I find that it, it doesn't work as well as I'd like it to or as well as other people think. And it makes it really annoying to do like a tile map because they're not going to be as even. And so you want your tiles to be obviously perfectly next to each other. So what's a better way to do that? First, let me just grab some tiles here to make more sense of it all. So in this case, I'm going to go to our spray editor and I'm going to look at the tiles that make sense the most. So we're going to have 24, 25, 26, and 27 next to each other. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to actually we'll remove that. We're going to take out 24, 25, 26, 27, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then what we're going to do is we're going to line it up with the side of our canvas, our game canvas here. And to test that, I'm just going to hit play. And you can see here that that's on the side. And I'm going to leave it right there. So it's not perfectly aligned yet, but that's okay. The next thing I'm going to do is do it for the other side as well. We're going to take our end piece and find our end. And in this case, I'm using a standalone view just so I can design this map for what it is. Now we have these two pieces, which we're going to have to duplicate over and over again. But instead of holding down V and snapping like that, what we're going to do is something different. So first, I'm just going to duplicate these and put them in, fill up our spots, and try to get them close to the grid, but don't overlap them as much. Oh, I actually think I just duplicated that one. All right. And... You know, we can duplicate both of them just to make it go faster. So now we have the basic of a platformer almost. Um, you can see in our hierarchy it's getting a little messy. But what do we do to make this look better? Well, what we can do is we select all of these. And holding down control now to avoid the main camera. And we can actually go to Edit, Snap Settings. And my Snap Settings popped up in my other window. Snap all axes. And what that's going to do is it's going to snap it to the nearest axis of our 16 by 16 grid. And it's going to snap them perfectly. So now we have no more issues with snapping. So you can see here, I don't have to vertex snap it. I can just snap all the axes and that'll take care of it. And it's actually, I find it to be much easier and way more useful. And I didn't even know, I knew it existed, but I didn't see the, the purpose of it until just now. Uh, so I want to go create empty, and we'll just call this our tile map. And we'll just drag these tiles in here. You can get more creative, and you can start naming these tiles from the actual sprite editor. So what we can do is we can actually go in here and name 24, 25, 26 to something more creative. All the pivot points are to the top left. When it comes to characters, I put them on the bottom. And so let me just show you that real fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually import our graphics again we're going to take our we'll take our player graphic drag that in and with our player graphic the same thing he's also 16 pixels to units he's got multiple sprites uh, we're going to make him filter mode point and true color and hit apply sprite editor slice grid 
16 by 16. And so if I put him to the top left, then he will apply to the top left, and that might actually work, but we want his pivot point to be on the bottom. And then we're going to hit slice, and we're going to hit apply. And you can also name these sprites something something better to name. Uh, let's see. Like you can name him player walk, player idle. So now we're going to go to our player, and we're just going to drag the first one in. And now if we go down here, if we get close, we're just going to snap all the axes, and now he'll be on there perfectly. So that's that. Uh, in Unity 5, I have noticed a bit of a bug when you're importing sprites. If you import a lot of sprites and you put them close together, it seems that they almost clip each other, but they really shouldn't be since they're all uh, 16 by 16. So when you're making sprites, this is a sprite sheet that I found on the internet, but when you're making sprites, you might want to give it uh, at least two, two uh, pixels of padding. That way you can have nice clear sprites. So that's it for this tip. Make sure you like it and subscribe it if you want to see more of this stuff. I'm just kind of making this for fun to see what I want to make. So let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.